We're going to do layer masks, color correction, clipping paths, and more in this lesson. So we've got this castle on the, on the water, and we've got a sky. Notice I've color coded both layers. I don't want the color coding on the castle anymore. So I'm going to right click. I'm on the castle layer. Right click and go down here and say no color. So now the castle has no color, but the sky does. So this is what the sky looks like. Eventually we're going to make it look like both pictures were taken at the same time of day. With using adjustment layers also. So here's the sky, here's the castle. I'm going to first make a layer mask to hide the existing sky on the castle picture. So I'm going to use the magic wand on this one. I'm going to go over here. I have my tolerance at 32, which is the default. Click on the sky. It doesn't quite get all of it. So I have to hold the shift key and click in that little area that it didn't get. Now I can tell that if I add a layer mask now, what's going to be visible to me will be the sky. I really want the castle. I can invert the marching ants, or I can wait, add the layer mask, and invert the layer mask. In this one, I'm going to go up to select inverse, and now I have the castle in the water, I'm on the castle layer. I'm going to go down to the icon that says add layer mask and click. And there's my layer mask. There's my layer mask. Uh, if I disable the layer mask, there's the sky. So I'm just masking the sky, hiding it from view. So if I turn on the new sky and drag it below, the castle, it's going to be our new sky. Now this needs, it's rough, it's a rough selection, so this needs some fine tuning, I might add. So the first thing we're going to do up here is we're going to need another copy of the castle because we need to make a reflection in the water. And I want you to learn how to do a layer mask. Um, that starts out white and you add a gradient. You'll see what I'm talking about. We did one kind of layer mask on the castle right now, but now we're going to do a Command J. I'm going to turn off all the eyeballs so we don't get confused. I just clicked on them and dragged. I'm going to right click on the top, the, the castle copy, and say apply layer mask. Now, I've actually gotten rid of the sky here. And an easy way to get rid of the water is to go into the lasso tool and get the polygon lasso. The polygon lasso is like, if you recall, you get this sort of rubber band line. The only accuracy you need here is to make sure you get this line under the castle between the castle and the water, right? You don't have to worry about this stuff. This is out of canvas. You can, and there's my little circle. You can just make sure you join them. If you don't see that little circle, you can hold the command key on the Mac or the control key on the PC. And now I'm going to delete the water. And then I'm going to go up to select, deselect, or command D, control D on the PC. And now I have a castle copy layer. I'm going to rename it. Castle Reflection. Reflection. There you go. I'm going to move up to Edit, Transform, Flip Vertical. I'm going to go to the Move tool, pull this down, turn the eyeball back on for this castle that has all the elements in it. I'm going to, again, pull this reflection down. Now I need to rotate it. I free transform, I'm going to use free transform, command T. And when I go outside the bounding box, I get those little curvy arrows. So I'm going to curve it 
up. When I go inside the bounding box, I get the arrow head so I can move it. So I can start to adjust, make minor adjustments to get them to match up. And then I'm going to hit the return key on the keyboard. So there is the start of a reflection. The next thing I'm going to do is make this actually look like a reflection. And I'm going to do that by adding an empty layer mask to that layer by clicking the layer mask icon at the bottom of the layers panel. And now I have an empty layer mask. You see it's all white. Move over to the gradient tool. Now, as long as the black chip is on top and the white chip is on the bottom, if you don't have that, make sure you hit the D key on the keyboard. Now I get the opposite and then the X key flips them. So the black chip is on the top. I'm going to go up to my options bar. I'm going to select the second gradient, which is black to nothing. Black to those checkerboards. Again, we're going to have the tool like that uses a rubber band line. I'm going to go about right up here to the middle of the castle that doesn't have the reflection. This gradient will help us create a reflection. Oh, I must be in, oh, undo. I was in radial gradient. Make sure you're in linear gradient. And now I'm going to go up and there's my reflection. Doesn't look too bad, actually. I'm going to turn on the sky. I haven't done anything yet. I mean, clearly, if you zoom in, you can see that this mask needs to be fixed up, etc. I'm going to double click the zoom tool to bring this back. For now, uh, I'll clean up the mask later. And I want to show you that the beauty of having everything on a separate layer is the reflection. Let's say I want to mess around with the layer mask, I can unlink the picture from the layer mask. I can actually, as long as I have that surround, that extra line around the layer mask, I can go to the move tool and move the layer mask around. It's, it's like another little picture there. I can free transform the layer mask only when they are unhooked to see if I can get a, a, a I have more control over the reflection and the layer mask. I'm going to hit return. I'm going to hit the arrow keys on my keyboard just to make sure, because sometimes you can get like way out of whack. If you hit the arrow keys on your keyboard, it'll move in each direction. If you hold the shift key, it'll move 10 pixels at a time. But you can make minor adjustments that way. So I'm going to link them back up because if I don't have them linked, then I will forget and move one of them inadvertently. So that's the first step in making this reflection. In part two, we're going to do the color correction of the castle and the reflection.